Hi again, everybody. Sorry for that little cut off there, but I'm going to revert back to this. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. A messenger. I didn't even see this. What? No, what happened? A messenger. Hmm. Uh, okay, so let me just pull these guards for just a moment. That's weird, because when I put them back, I put them all, like, on the top, right? But then, like, in the back, usually I don't... I divvy up the cards usually differently. But um, this Knight of Pentacles really... How do I say it? They also have page tendencies. And... Although they might come off as insightful, mm, mm, discerning. The discerning is more of like a deliberate form of like hitting the pause button in, how do I say it? Uh, this, is, this is very different. This is a different energy, okay? But they have something to communicate to you. Now, whether that's of worth of your time, you'll be able to decide because you'll know your energies. If not, just be aware of it because where he's looking at to an annex to the other cards would be this, which is a selfish young man, quick-tempered. So you will know what that means, this energy versus this whether it's a front or whatever, right? It depends on where you are in your journey. So if you can acknowledge that you are at a certain place, at a certain level, whether you're um, satisfied with it or not, then this will help put um, more context in oneself okay, to all of that. So when this fell, it fell in the crack, I picked it up and I kind of knew that it was gonna turn upside, you know, like switch its position which I also like part of this review also is showing that this deck is unidentifiable at its origination point. So if you look at the cover, like the back of the cards, you don't know whether it's like upright or not. It's kind of neutral. It's all within the context of its pairing. So, um, what do we, thoughts of a fair man and then a fair liberal and lovable man, a lawyer, a sailor, or a teacher is annexed to something will be told to you which you must not believe. Huh. So there's like some kind of interception also to kind of taint communications is what I'm getting. Or can, let me see. I want to get clarification on that because, you know, it can be a little confusing when somebody has like um, a nice visual presentation. Don't know whether or not that is the whole picture right? It's getting warm. A leaf just dropped like that. That was pretty heavy for a type of tree that was. Okay. All right. Spirit clarification on the king of cups or king of hearts. Now that it has a swapped positions. Okay. Oh, that's one. It's, I saw that it was the king of pentacles, a diplomat or a governmental employee. Okay, they may not exactly work for the government, but this is a position like an archetype. And king, king, a businessman, upright, true, slow to anger, and slow to forgive. Huh. There's so many things that I could say about this. How do I say it? Let's let's look at this first. Okay. This may be the same man, or it could be affiliates. Like, people are on the same level that know each other, but they also share the same characteristics of volatility. Yeah. And the King of Cups is a lot more direct with that energy than the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles kind of like tries to like shelve it for the side. Because they're more invested with manifesting pentacle energy than matters of the heart. So I'd say it's more controlled, being that they're more 
empowered with manifestations grounding that energy whereas the king of cups is like the king of cups can do both because he is balanced with both perspectives he hears the world's earthly energies knowing how it operates but is balanced knowing there are ticks or glitches that make it less than seamless so he is balanced with the wisdom of the heart and adaptable enough to ground either energy well an inundation of one or the other it's very it's but it's also kind of like reserved it's how do i say it he knows himself well and is emotionally intuitive so his reservations aren't a matter of being timid but rather is finely tuned observation when you're in it with with that if you're particularly involved with something it's very it's a lot but if you're more removed then it's um, more of a reserved energy but this this energy is standalone whether you're here or there does that make sense i trust the people that understand will understand this so the one that comes off as the king of pentacles because i've seen the pairing of the knight of pentacles coming through like as a bottom deck energy that's the secret sauce of it coming through as equal but really a lesser degree of you know so the one that is perceived to be able to ground the energies better like the the anger that that shadow work part of it they have I, I know that they have the ability to do that but they're it's more of a front like it's a more of like an characteristic alibi like assumption of this person so that knight who has page tendencies comes in as an intercept knowing there, there's strong similarities knowing this character and kind of influencing as an in-between something will be told to you which you must not believe so whether that may be through the mouth captured from this person or originated like how do i say it interception yeah that causes that is meant to cause disinterest but you see do you see the cycle Okay, so come to implant seeds of thought into this person's mind, and then it circles back. As long as this King of Cups can work and maneuver shadow energies, then he'll be able to look that this at this person, that this person doesn't have this person's interest in mind. You see the look of it? Like, you can see that when this person focuses and, and really looks at their shadows and addresses them then they'll be able to see past you know the lies the veil and see what the, the integrity or lack thereof of this person in fuller context so yeah so this person should not believe whatever this person is telling it's bad advice whether it's like friends or peers of lower level uh, whatever that is is um a poser Mm -hmm. but i get that this like there's a deep association bond between these okay two characters and this one takes advantage of it yeah opportunistic material um how do i say that yeah 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 that's a, that's a warning I, i'm getting that there's some masculines also that need to hear that okay is there anything else 9 41 on the clock spirit angels what else would you like to say in regards to this do, 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 do. Hmm. hope you are well hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. this one oh it's you again messenger <laughs> given this is a bent card too there's a little wonkiness in it so it's eager to come out so there's um, also an indecisive energy within us. That's something for, I think, each and every person that's watching, whenever they're watching it, some kind of energy that they need to comp contemplate within themselves. Is there, um, how do you say it? I don't want to say paranoid, but is there more caution pronounced in certain areas of your life that you're seeing that's undue? Because once you interpret that as unneeded stress and worry, then once you like switch those terms, because that's the how you actually contextualize it, how you approach it, I think that would be a key to unlock whatever feels stuck, whatever feels like it's maybe taking longer than it should 
to transpire. I don't, what? There's, you know, there's other ways that we can interpret that, that energy. But I'm seeing here because there's a seven of cups here and some interception that, that it might pose some indecisiveness. There's something else to this. In a business aspect, I feel like, I don't know for some of you, these might be competing interests that one sounds good over the other. Like, hey, I might want to just do like a nine to five practical job or I want to do something that's affiliated with my dreams. Yeah. Something that makes me feel more connected and something that I can really celebrate um, on my own or with the world. And it's like, what, which reign of like empire or king, kingdom do you want to um, build you know what do you want to involve yourself in from here on out so i think that could be like conflicting in interest investments when it comes to like a singular level to really to listen to your inner voice what will make you happy because looking at the constructs of let's say society and that kind of bond whatever connection you have with the exterior world will help you interpret it interpret interpret like that's a message in itself and the um the way the syllables were given you know it, listening to the angles the consonants the how that how that speaks to you when you verbalize it and looking at it in those different angles those pieces of the whole yeah um okay so there's that and yeah okay so that cut came out. Um, is there anything else, Spirit? Angels, for those that are watching, is there anything else that you would like to add? Oh, and one thing that I also noticed here, this is great um, for business owners too. Look up the properties. If Even on like a, a metaphysical healing, there's, uh, there's so much. It's, it's good for learning, for psychics. Like, light workers definitely definitely what else um i think dyslexia and you know a bunch of you know other properties but there's a reason why this was called i was called to it and it made its way like carved its way into my life so something that i think all of you could oh and muscle Oh, is it muscle regeneration or absorbing vitamins? Um, well, something like that. So um, for you, like working out, bodybuilding, whatever it is that you're doing, you're super invested in. Like you want to like be a sponge of whatever you're invested in. This is this is the one. This is the good. This is the good one for you. OK, so that was just like kind of scanning what it was. But straight up feeling it like just start working on your, your trust with other sentient beings and breaking the the constructs that act as barriers to your belief system. This is a good stone. I wanted to scry it, but I think that's for another video. So let's see let's what we got here. 15.08 on the clock. Okay. Anything else here? Yeah, so I think that's why I was supposed to read the business aspect of it too. Because it's very real. Our relationships are parallel energy. Okay, anything else there? Okay, um, two fell. Mm. Oh, so we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Love or very dear friendship. A flirt, fond of company. Indifference to a love that will be offered and a fair pleasure loving woman okay what do you want to say about this one okay give me a second mm. i think while we're building like we're in the masculine mold to manifesting and making decisions and just that whole action oriented side our more receptive side is a little bit more reserved because when we're invested in one action we need to do one thing at a time um multitasking um on this level of frequency can be done but when you're just first starting off and growing something like propagating a plant you want to you want to 
treat babies with care, basically, right? So it's taking a higher ground, Eight of Cups, in in that fashion of manifestation that you're like you're leaving something behind in a physical realm as well, most definitely. And you know you're gonna come back to you know you're gonna come back full circle with all of this. But um, while you're in the means of manifesting this feminine part of you this more domestic, intimate part of you, <clears throat> oh, the internal part of you, is like internal grounding. What is that? Oh, that this is the key. This will also help you. This will help you manifest, make decisions, and see clarity. So that is why when it comes to entertaining extracurriculars, is what I call them, extracurricular investments those these this is considered like a prerequisite to those extracurriculars right those are what do you want to call them electives when you're at school and um you have other variances of where you want to learn and grow and those may eventually become more core to your unit to your way of life um moving forward so yeah, I think that's what that wanted to say there. So all we're seeing here right now is cup and pentacle energy. So that's great. There's an abundance of of um of love, of intuition and grounding it. So we're all in practice here. Okay, there's um a lot here. So I'm just gonna do we want the I think it's there's another energy that's coming through because I remember the last time I read for this pertaining to this energy, it came out in, in clumps. So this is very, yeah, same energy, but they're coming in fuller force. So they used to come in as the pentacle, the, what, what was that? The knight of pentacles energy? That's their friendly mode, right? That's their chill mode, but that's their baseline. But then when they're angry, that's what they come in as, um, the king of swords but let's go ahead and just look at this a dark envious man um then seven pentacles slander or a scandal be careful and then ten of wands a new appointment or investment and then the life card which is like the joker card right the fool card in between a dark elderly or married man determined but upright if that dissatisfied denotes a fortunate change an unwise waste of your worldly goods a happy marriage or unexpected money want or of success in a trivial manner so this person is in it for themselves they're not in it to win it they're in it for themselves and that's a losing battle yeah very overly confident very self-assured entitled and they're betting on duping you <laughs> beware that's what it is and it would be unwise for you to buy in on it as well as it's oh there's a, like a dove uh, no it's um a partridge no 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 no. what do you call it i forget what they're called it just it just floated away into the tree above me what do you call them I forget what those are called, but it's between like a dove and a pigeon. I forget what those are called. Anyway, so it it's unwise also for them to persist in this energy. But they they're betting on this because they see that you're that you're expecting. I mean that something's due your way, really. But. I don't even know if they're like fully in for just the money when they're usually like that. That's their scheme with others. I think when it comes to you, it's really like this conceptual thinking that if they got you, then they can do anything because you're, you're really that um, strong and they're seeing that they want to come back to reinvest in you and things and They're waiting out on time. They're plotting. They're plotting. But it's all just a burden. A new cycle. 
Yeah. Yeah. So when, when you think like things are like high times and great, this is because I just mentioned not having like anything else other than the two suits. And then here it comes along, pops in also with a wild card. It comes in when you least expect it. When things are going great, they pop back into your life, like kind of shuffling things up, trying to distract you. That's part of the game. And it's just telling you like, it's, it's just a freaking burden. Remember that. Remember the last cycle is what it's saying. And where you're at without this character, even though they might have contributed um, certain life lessons, I think the time's up with them. And they know that. Do you see that face? It's looking at their plan and their plot. Just like how the others... Oh my gosh, this is like a shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. They, they um, read you. They try to, they don't have the same intuitive abilities, okay? So they try to ground it in a more 3D aspect. So they legitimize like the means to the end kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So when careful, you know, understand that when you're looking at fortune decks or playing cards you're omitting the archetypes of the um greater scheme the major arcana which is 22 not represented so when you're looking at this you're looking at the frame of mind to get that archetype it's not just like within the courts uh hold on there's something else here yeah this dude is totally magnetized over like his plan working and do we want to say anything else on this? He's like certain. He's sure. And he's going to go for it. Because what has he got to lose? Yeah. Want of success in a trivial manner. Matter, excuse me. And this person is usually great in manifesting. Because when you attach it to the storyline of the others, we're seeing here an ambitious and successful man right there. So that might be their exterior reputation. But what card is it linking to? When you're looking at that, this is what's going to be looking back at the other trail of cards. Which means it's a lower vibing addition, I guess, to you know what we've already got going on. 25.55 on the clock. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else. 2601 on the clock. Excuse me. Angels, do you have anything else that you would like to convey? I feel like that was a lot already. We got nearly an hour, but let's see what else there is. 2615 on the clock. Oh, there we go. We have, and this was, oh, I should not have pulled it. That's okay. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Success in business ventures. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Usually five of pentacles is a lacking, a lack mindset, but the lower vibing aspect of it. But when you turn it like, okay, good luck, health, wealth, and happiness, it, both sides are good. For the most part, in all angles, it's, it's a wonderful card in this deck, but I think it's really looking at the abundance coming from lack mindset, coming from understanding that realm. Yeah and business ventures that's that's wonderful look at the bottom of the deck is uh six of oh my gosh it's a six of wands okay a successful partnership okay so understanding like this is collaborative energy right um is it's the celebration that's due it's uh justice it's um looking at like you have three kings in here you oh my gosh that's what's a spiritual thing like three kings um bringing gifts right and um, that's interesting. The sovereignty of each king, that aspect of the divine aspect of each king, whether they're currently low vibing or not, the supreme being part of them is bestowing us uh -huh, gifts, their cosmic gifts um, to, our, to, our, um, to our realm. So, you know, that puts a lot into perspective as far as our takeaways so that we're not disgruntled or having resentments or whatever. It's all part of the journey. 
And it's not to rationalize misdoings, but to understand um, the salvaging grace, the value of the five of pentacles energy. Yeah. And, but, okay. So it says here, because when we're linking up both, right? And considering this element in everyone's world, investigate carefully before going into any new undertakings. Get to know who you're partnering up with before you partner. Mm -hmm. um, and get to know yourself, what you're presenting, what you're putting on the table in order to align objectives. That's very nice. I like that. Um... Yeah, because, you know, when you look at the dead, there's somebody that is really not liking you. Did, did you hear me say die three times? That was a stutter that was misspeak. That was um, meant to say something. I'm not going to pronounce it, but I want you to know that there there's a very good reason to contemplate these energies past and forthcoming for um, both sides. It's going to take some discernment, but you are equipped for it is what spirit is saying because you're already identifying with these energies. I don't think even an ounce of you is not aware of these energies around you. Okay, what else? On the other side of things, what's pending is a business offer or money borrowed. So it depends on how you, what you think success is to you what do you think is a big win in life like why do you compile this stuff into your bucket list three zero three three on the clock examine your intentions and your belief systems challenge them yourself so that you're not triggered when somebody else does it because that's just going to cause more turbulence which is you know it's another fine way of learning but this is a better way this is like ascended master's way 322 on that clock and car clock yeah, so depending on how you view, this is the bottom deck energy. So it's like true value, secret sauce for the whole deck, okay? Examining what we put value in. What is the true win versus um, on an isolated view, intimate view, um, when nobody's looking. Like how you appreciate the forest for the trees when you're, when you're there and you're alone versus camping with a whole group what your perception of victory is and how aligned that that source that feeling is and really ground yourself in that energy because we started off with the the cup and the pentacle energies so depending on what you you see there anything that links up entailing this energy is going to be either future opportunities right or things where you have to like kind of buy against your future it's money borrowed because you've kind of squandered it away in a different value of what you thought victory is or was and when you rise up in the ranks pentacle energy will present you exactly what it's going to prompt you prompt your energy what what ensues i forgot what we're going to say with it i think that's it okay so thank you very much all for watching your energy exchange i hope that was a i know um, how do I say it? Because I know it's a value. Yes, angels. Let's go ahead and thank the divine and all. Thank you, the divine and all. <laughs> Once again, very much. <laughs> and uh, spirit, angels, our higher selves, our spirit guides, our inner children. They all spoke. Hmm? And there is more of the divine that um, goes unmentioned. But the subtleties of what we do not see and what we do see are equally important. Okay, I think that's it. So thanks very much for watching 3333 on the clock. Let's hit that like button, <laughs> subscribe button, notification bell. <laughs> if you're feeling up to it, I accept donations as well, 3344 on the clock. I mean, I would, I appreciate your investments, your positive vibes. And I know I don't have it on here yet, but I do private readings. So just tippity tap towards me and I will answer your questions. That is it for now. Have a great day. Take care. Be well. See you again next time. <laughs>